All right, so when we're using Cairo Touch for the first time, we have an old patient. We can say on the far top right hand button, new to Cairo Touch button. And uh, I'm going to say there's five columns across and four rows down. So on column five, row one, new to Cairo Touch. So with this, you can say uh, new to Cairo Touch program and new to chiropractic program with no new causative factors. So we hit that button there. It's going to say on today's date, we are moving forward. The patient was last in a month ago, which was there. And we can then say that we're doing on the far right a daily presentation. Daily presentations pushed. I have four choices. I'll pick the first one and I'll simply at this point give today's date and say that the person has a chief complaint on the far right of neck pain. On the first main menu column, if we go down four, it says complaints, pain, and stiffness. Bam, hit that one. We have five to choose from. Uh, complaint full, complaint uh, the patient stated, the person's first name, the person's first name also, and he or she. So if I do one of those five buttons, and I do the first one, the patient has neck pain, the neck pain's a one, and it's stiff in this area. They, on the far right, is that's the third column, fourth row, first row, it's not going down the arm, and they also have another complaint of upper back pain above the shoulder blades, uh, off to the right, uh, it's a two, and it's stiff. But I can go to the end of that and say last felt more pain on the fifth column, uh, second row down, and we can say that they had, boy, they had more pain yesterday, and that pain was an eight yesterday. So I can say that yesterday the pain was an eight, and if I go right from there, I can go back to my complaints button, and then go to my etiology button, and from the etiology, we can say that the onset of this current complaint with their billing is, uh, we started seeing this person back in November for this. So now we have a, a November complaint. We don't know how it happened. It just began, uh, and this date's an estimate. Subjective is done. For my objective findings, you're basically just doing my palpation findings, my pre-adjustment assessment. Uh, it's cervical, so they have a cervical syndrome, positive on the right. Uh, and for my palpation on the far right, uh, my palpations on the left is going to say that they have tenderness at the following levels, C1, C2, and C3, and they have muscle spasms in the neck, upper back. Um, there. I'm done with subjective. For my assessment, well, what was your originally billing on your, on you, we had Medisoft. Uh, the patient had uh, subluxations at C1, C2, C5, C6, T2, T3, and these right here under next are gonna be related to um, uh, neck pain without radiculitis, uh, uh, upper occipital C1 subluxation, which is also associated with thoracic spine, segmental dysfunction with thoracic spine uh, pain period. On the far right bottom, it says patient status. Under patient status, we can hit that button and say that this is uh, an acute condition. They're still within the acute phase. Uh, the prognosis is good. I expect everything to be well. And there's no contraindicating factors for this patient. I'm done. I go to plan. I go to my first column, um, third row down, where it says daily treatment notes. Or I'm going to hit this patient summary. Uh, for their daily visit and today the person had a manipulation one to two regions muscle stem and heat That's all I did on them today Going down another row my physical therapy details simply said that they had muscle stem and heat second column third row um, That says they had it for 15 minutes lateral to t3 uh, For the upper dorsals and the neck and we did this in a prone position prior to the manipulation from there on the far right, we hit manipulations, we can introduce it, and we can say that we are going to adjust this person today with a Gonstead supine position of C1 and C2, C4, and we're going to adjust the mid back, the upper back uh, in a prone position uh, for there. Uh, the patient tolerated the treatment well, so I hit the tolerate treatment button. We say that they did good. I can add a dash to here. I can explain why later. And from there, far right, return visit. So the return visit go, what I want to see him back. Well, they did great. So I'm seeing him every three to four weeks. Boom. See him three to four weeks. Hit save. Uh, but before I hit save, I can actually look at the report that was generated. And we can say electronic healthcare medical record was started on this patient. Today's date is the 6th. They have neck pain. That's a 1 with stiffness. No radicular pain. And upper back pain. That's a 2. That yesterday was an 8. And again, the onset's there. We have our palpation findings, our cervical syndrome findings. We have the diagnosis with the segments and the subluxations. 
their status and their prognosis. And then over here, we also have what was done on that day, where the physical therapy was done, uh, what I adjusted, the side I was on, the segment, the uh, treatment used, uh, how do they respond, and when the person comes back. I'm going to hit save. And that's my report.